likes, that's for sure. Oh, Ducati. Good morning internet, it is 8.30 in the morning and welcome back to the channel and welcome to South Africa. Uh, before I go into Joburg and try to find a new motorcycle so I have wheels, first I'm going to have a breakfast so let's check out how a South African airport hotel breakfast looks like. Looks really, really good. Oh wow, look at the fruit. Well, that is a super good start of the day. I'm having a black coffee, juice, fruit, and an egg. And I'm eating outside, so that is really, really nice. So I'm going to finish this and then uh, heading into uh, Johannesburg. I'm really, really excited, so I can't wait. I am now in an Uber on my way. Then I put my seatbelt on first. All right, so I'm taking an Uber now into Johannesburg. It is a beautiful day, and I don't know how far, how far, how many minutes riding? Yeah, I think 30 minutes. 30 minutes. Yeah, it's 30 minutes riding. Johannesburg is the biggest city of South Africa, and it's just huge. And I'm going to stay in an area which is. Well, I picked the area because there are two bike shops there and so I booked a guest house and one of the bike shops is within walking distance of that guest house so it will make it very easy for me to check that out today and the other one is I think five or six kilometers from that guest house. What's your name? My name is Fusa. Sorry? Fusa. Fusa. Yes, yes. That's a nice name. Yeah, thank you. Are you from Johannesburg? Yes, I am. Ah, good, good. Yeah. You ride the Uber a long time? Yeah, I've been in Uber for almost four years. Ah, four years. Oh, that's good, yeah. But now South Africa is opening up again, eh? I think borders are open. Yes, yes, borders are open. Do you also drive motorbike? No, I've never driven no? motorbike. No? <laughs> uh, you can still start riding motorcycle. Yes, it's never yeah. too late. It's never too late, yeah. <laughs> What is your favorite place in South Africa? Yeah, I could say it's Cape Town. Cape Town, yeah? yeah? You go there sometimes? Yes, yes, I go there sometimes. Maybe once a year. Ah, nice. Yeah, Cape Town is very nice. Yeah. yeah, I think it's the most beautiful uh, city of South Africa, no? South Africa, yeah, it's one of the most beautiful lanes from the left. It's very, very beautiful. Uh huh. Ah, this is the bike shop. Yeah. Bike Fire it up. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go there this afternoon. Check it out. Yeah. It's somewhere here, no? Ah, yeah, yeah, guest house, yeah. Hi. Good, and you? I'm good, thank you. <laughs> what a beautiful place. Oh, thank you. It's amazing. <laughs> Oh, well, should I help? It's really heavy, this one. <laughs> I am going to, of course, start with the most important thing, and that is getting myself a motorcycle. And that's why I booked this guest house, because I am 800 meters away from that uh, bike shop that I passed on the way. And uh, it's a very large shop with second-hand motorcycles. 
which is exactly what I need. So I'm now just uh, going to go walk there, have a look. Hopefully they have something. They'll be great. Otherwise, there's another bike shop uh, about five kilometers, I think, away from here. But I'm first going to check this one. I saw online that they have quite a lot. So let's get out of the gate. So this is a very nice part of Johannesburg. Very posh, actually. And yeah, everything is behind walls. I knew this about South Africa, but yeah, when you then see it in real life, it is interesting. Everything behind walls and gates and fences. But wow, it is beautiful here. Here it is. Oh. Plenty of bikes, but that actually sounds like a Harley. Which would not be my choice to ride the dirt roads of Africa. But hey, let's see. I registered here. They Thirty-four. That's very low. They have plenty of bikes, that's for sure. Oh, Ducati. Milk is right out. Ooh, Africa Twin. Very shiny and new, but a little bit uh, out of my budget. These seem to be all new bikes, so somewhere they should also have like a second. This is some dirt bikes there. Yeah, I'm looking for a new bike. Okay. Or not new, but a bike here in South Africa. Not a problem. I just okay. arrived yesterday. So. Not a problem. I organized some services. Can okay. you get you something to do in the meantime? Um, yeah, you have some water? Yeah, thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. This is better, 70,000. I think that's about 5,000 euros. Alright, I am just checking how my tank bag would fit on it. I actually brought my Moscow Motor tank bag. And uh, because this bike is really skinny, so it's really quite skinny over here. So this is the Honda CRF 250L. It's the cheapest one they have. I mean, all of these options, all the other ones are at least twice the price. It's from 2013 and it has 23,538 on the clock. So this bike I think costs around 2,500 euros, which is not bad. Just have to see how I can fit my luggage and stuff. So the bags will have to come over on this side. It does look in really good condition. It has new tires. It looks super good, eh? Alright, so bike looked great. I think it will be fine. I'm now going back to the guest house to uh, get my helmet, get some gear, so I can take it for a small test ride. I mean, it looks really good, but I don't want to buy a bike that I didn't even ride, correct? So I'm just going to do that, and then if it's all good, I am going to set it up with a few accessories. Um, it needs some hand guards, definitely. And I need to see how I can fit my bags on it. And one thing is I'm looking for maybe a small extra petrol tank. I always like to have some spare petrol with me. 
but they don't actually sell those cans here so it needs to come from somewhere else and bringing an extra petrol tank also means i need to kind of have some sort of rack for it which i also don't have so i will see if it's too much of a hassle then <laughs> i think i'm just gonna leave it but we'll see we'll figure it out Alrighty then, let's take her for a test ride. See you! Alright! That ride's pretty, okay? I'm driving on the wrong side of the road! <laughs> Sorry. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> oh, it's on the left here. Oh, classic mistake, hey. Drive on the left, drive on the left. Whoops. Ah, this feels good, hey? Oh, my f big lights were on. See, 23 and a half thousand kilometers on the clock. She feels nice. I can't really uh, take her off-road because I absolutely have no idea where I am. I don't think there will be any off-roading here anyway. But that's cool. I'm sure she will perform nicely. Stop. Let's go here. Oh, left, left. <laughs> Oh, oh, I can't go there. Oh, this is a dead end? No. No, I can go here. What a nice area of Johannesburg. Well, it's not like I've seen a lot of Johannesburg. But this looks definitely super nice. I say this bike is just feels really really easy to ride I kind of like the riding position as well and it's it's a tall bike which find kind of feels nice you know and I have plenty of ground, ground clearance really it looks really really good and it's almost eight years old but looks absolutely like new okay where do I go maybe I should try my indicators as well <laughs> let's get some power out of it <laughs> Woohoo! Uh, this is not the bike to uh, drive uh, super fast on the highway but it's not like I want that anyway so I think it's going to be perfect for the areas that I am going to explore Bike definitely sounds good, feels good. It's nice. Wait, did where did I come from now? Oh, I I'm already lost, hey. So I'm gonna have to, um, I'm gonna use a Garmin navigation system again, which uh, we're gonna put somewhere here, which is necessary. As you can see that I'm already lost after a two minute ride. <laughs> I think I took, took two turns. Oh well. But somewhere this way, I think. Well, I think I found my new partner in crime. <laughs> Opa, yes. And here we are. All right. So I bought her. This is my new friend. It's 
So um, they are going to give her a service. So she's fully serviced and uh, ready. And then uh, you know we're gonna have some uh, gonna have a few accessories on it, some hand guards. Uh, they didn't have engine guards that fit it, uh, which is a shame. But I'll sort something out at a later stage or whatever. Um, and they are so super nice here. So tomorrow actually they're going to help me with the paperwork to register it in my name, which is possible in South Africa as a well, tourist or non-resident. But it's definitely not easy. So they're going to help me out tomorrow. Um, so I'm just super super happy with that because you really need to, I don't know, kind of know your way around all the legislation and where to be and all of that. Um, so I'm super glad they're helping me out with that. Um, yeah, so um, that was it for today. Tomorrow I'll be back. Uh, so that will be in the next video to sort out the paperwork and then I can also pick her up. And uh, yeah, um, then we're pretty much almost off I think. So that was it for today. I really hope you liked this video. If you did, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe down below. And then I'll see you in the next video.